Okay. Um, hey, hi. Uh, my name is Ajit Kaparde. Um, I work at Broadcom and work on the, the port mode driver for the Broadcom mix. I've been doing this for like about like five years now. Um, before that, I was working on the Linux kernel driver uh, for Emulex and Broadcom mix. Um, so uh, yeah, that's uh, what I do right now. Um, as for today's presentation, um, I uh, wanted to um, kind of like, um, like spend some time uh, on uh, where we are and what we can do with RTE flow. Uh, what's possible um, and get some some opinions, some ideas. Um, so yeah, so for today's agenda, um, as I said, we'll kind of briefly go over um, e DevOps, the current state, what 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 we can do, um, then jump over to 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 RT flow, um, and um, again quickly spend some time on that on the possibilities and um, the key um, aspect for the uh, the discussion is the convergence, like how we can, what we can do, what's possible. Um, the the challenges, uh, what I call, uh, and uh, what what can be uh, what can be done next, or how, how do we approach this? Um, so so that's that's for the agenda. Um, so yeah, uh, eat DevOps, like we know, like when we. Uh, I mean, DPDK uh, has been around for a long time. We started with a set of APIs, um, uh, which um, actually allows a, a full mode driver, especially the Ethernet driver, to um, perform some device-specific uh, operations. It allows us to do a start, stop, and configure the device. It allows us to enable transistor mode, multicast, um, disable it if necessary. It also gives us a set of um, functions or APIs to set up a queue for TX and RX, start, stop, and all. Um, it allows us to kind of um, create um, Mac and VLAN filters, link related information, stats, RSS, MTU. Yeah, so like um, all the things. Um, so basically, yeah, this, this, and like there's a few more that I uh, didn't like want to clutter up the, the slide deck with. And so essentially, this has been like kind of um, serving the purpose for us. For, for for the Polmo drivers, uh, network related Polmo drivers, especially uh, for a while now, um, and like since about 2017, um, we got uh, new RTE flow um, the API, and what has happened is we uh, deprecated some of the APIs which were there in EDEF ops, um, the mirror rule uh, set to set, and then the the uh, filter control API, so we kind of deprecated them for the last few releases. So uh, quickly, spend, let's spend some time on on uh, RTE flow ops. So we know, I mean, like um, this is a generic mechanism which allows to to configure uh, ingress or egress rules in the hardware. Um, it actually um, is very flexible. It allows you to to create, destroy query flows. It even has an API to, to, to validate um, whether the flow rule can be offloaded or not. And um, like being the last uh, person doing this presentation, I got um, like Ori's um, <laughs> input where like uh, he came up with the number saying we have like 57 items and 70 actions. So that's 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 actually a whole lot. Um, so. Um, it allows us to to match different types of and, 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 and the various actions. But with with all the flexibility that it that it provides, it actually um, like uh, the capability sort of has started overlapping the the well known dev API that that uh, we have. And in few cases, it's actually um, like. It's even better. Um, RTE flow has uh, more um, extended functionality, which uh, which is not there, which is not there in the, the Dev API. So, um, so now, like, what I uh, kind of like see is that's what I call convergence, where um, when we added the action type sample. Um, we actually deprecated the, the mirror rule 
um, set and reset option that uh, was there in the API. Um, we had the various um, filtering um, API for n-tuple, for tunnel filters, and, and whatnot, um, ether type. And we uh, deprecated that also because RT flow allowed us to, to do all that. And we can probably like go further. Why just stop here? Why we could we could actually um, like maybe um, remove the MAC area, um, remove add, or even like set API because same thing can be done with, with, with RTE flow. We can actually get rid of uh, VLAN filter set because we can actually do the same thing uh, with RTE flow. And then like uh, um, uh, you can also like specify uh, which queue to redirect the packet to. You can actually even like do RSS on that. So, so yeah, and you could do the same thing for the tunnel ports and multicast promiscuous enable disable. I mean, if we want, I mean, we could actually like tweak the tweak the, the pattern um, and the parameters that we provide and actually do the same thing. And last but not the least, RSS. I'm going to spend some time on 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 RSS, like and how um, like it has kind of put me as a as a PMT developer. Um, on uh, on what the possibilities are and why it um, kind of brings in uh, some sort of fun and challenge. Yeah. So uh, as I said, I'll spend some time on 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 the RSS um, itself to kind of give some um, uh, insight on what what's what's going on as far as APMD is developer is concerned. So. We know RDE flow API, especially for RSS action, it provides hash level pattern. I mean, like, I can actually like pass a pattern and say I want to perform RSS on this. It performs like uh, allows us to select like hash for, for for which function we want to. I mean, like whether we want to use toe plates or XR or any other algorithm. Uh, but but do we want to um, uh, deprecate eat DevOps for that? I mean, like with, when when it comes to eat DevOps. It actually, like, it, though it's like limited, it just allows me to um, um, do a RSS hash for packets that say the default um, RSS that the hardware is configured for. It allows me to do a um, RSS hash for inner and outer. But if you go to RTE flow, it allows me to, I mean, the, the field can take any value. Right? The level can be two, RSS level can be three, and I can actually like uh, be, be more flexible as far as. Um, doing RSS or programming RSS configuration is concerned. It DevOps does not allow that, but at least like there we know what exactly is possible. Um, RT flow, some of the information is generally like it's, it's, it's documented, but a lot of things there are um, open for interpretation. I'll try to spend some time on that um, in the next slide as well. Um, and the, the last thing is um, the life cycle. So, so I, uh, created like a flow and like I said, okay, I mean, the application said I want to perform RSS for so and so pattern. Um, and if the flow is, um, if that particular flow is deleted by the application, what should the PMD do? Should it like revert back to the previous or default setting or should it just leave there? Um, I mean, it, it would be um, kind of good to to kind of like have some, have some clarity on that. Part of the reason is as a, as a diver or PMD developer, I would like to um, see that information in the documentation rather than like go through different um, implementations by from from different vendors and come up with uh, what 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 I would uh, like to have in either say uh, uh, my my PMD or even as an application developer. Um, so that's like one of the things. Like if it's missing uh, with the Right now. Um, so I actually, I mean, don't really like have uh, want to um, uh, kind of propose which method we want to um, whether like we should deprecate it DevOps or we should it should still keep them because one of the things that I like with it Dev is like it, though it's like limited functionality, it, it exactly like documents what 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 needs to be done, what is expected. Um, and what point in time um, application could actually issue issue that um, that call? The other option is like to uh, maybe like in, improve it DevOps. Like so, for example, if I, as I said, I mean like RSS level, um, it DevOps just allow me to 
specify just two levels, like RT flow API can do more. So like should we improve that? That's just an just that's just one example. Maybe like we can we can actually um, I mean there are there are other possibilities and other options. Um or I mean do both. I mean like let let the uh, dev API be there um, and uh, also have um, the RT flow mechanism. Um, you know, it's it's in full glory, and let the application or the user decide what what they want to um, kind of issue what they want to use. But we know that I mean, because RT flow like provides so much of uh, flexibility, just tweaking um, the pattern. Um, and you can actually like have have a different uh, uh, behavior. The actions can actually be like individual. They can be like combined. Um, I see like some vendors actually uh, don't allow um, like clubbing different actions with uh, with RSS. Like some vendor uh, uh, allows like a combination. So it all seems to kind of be um, a little like hazy, not 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 really like clear, and. Um, the other thing is, the other option that we have is like maybe like have a mid ground where, um, like if you want to program uh, port level settings or if you want to do a per flow setting, then I um, mean then the application can the application can make a decision based on based on that per flow. Um, if the application wants to um, configure maybe like say the RSS action or or um, uh, or any other like functionality allow that, and if it is like port level, then um, the application could actually um, use the um, API, um, so 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 that way port port level configuration will remain outside of the scope of RT flow, but we probably will have to define what exactly um, those are going to be. So I actually don't want to have like a I mean like the end kind of thing for this because. I want to keep this as an ongoing um, like sort of discussion. Can we actually like have a a general like consensus? Um, so, I, what I am looking for in this, and then like in, we can follow it up on the mailing list is what should we do to to kind of to con converge um, and um, maybe like as I said like just. Uh, Start using RT flow for all the port level things, or uh, or uh, not do that. So that's where my uh, I mean um, that was the, the reason why I um, thought it would be a good idea to bring this up so that there's some some awareness and uh, maybe like get some inputs on how to approach this because as an application developer and even for me as a as a DMD or driver developer. I would like to have some clear guidelines to um, to, um, to to write the code. So with that, uh, I would uh, like to um, like I would like to see if there are any opinions, if there are any questions. And since this is a lightning talk, uh, we know we'll we are not really like going to um, like decide on what um, approach we are going to take. Um, that, I mean, I want to kind of have this discussion on the wider uh, uh, developer forum on the mailing list, and make sure we uh, we get to a final uh, conclusion. So, I end my talk presentation here. Let's see if there are any questions or any comments. All right. Uh, yeah, Thomas says, do you think one year is enough between deprecation and removal of some some legacy dev APIs? So yeah, I mean, one year, like since it's an LTS, I think it actually um, allows enough this one um, to time to um, for the rest of the application writers and maintainers to to get get an idea on like what the transition plan should be, and and work on it. So I think I, I mean I feel one year is generally a, a good enough this one, but we know like in some cases it can like drag. But one year generally is is, is good, good good enough time. 
Uh, Roger says we can eliminate these APIs in DevOps. Can the applications continue to use old DevOps for things like VLAN filters, MAC address? So there is no uh, final decision on that, Roger. I was just trying to uh, kind of like come up with like possibilities. I mean, we, I mean, we may be able to uh, remove the DevOps and um, still continue to have that functionality using RT flow. Um, as of now, since there is no, no decision, we. Not, uh, you can, I mean, applications can continue to, to call them. Um, if we um, decide, then it will be on the mailing list. And at that point, uh, we can come up uh, with uh, the application developers can come up with a uh, transition plan. Alternatively, I mean, since we know RT flow um, is like already there and like applications can use that, maybe um, you can actually modify your application to. Um, to use RT flow. I mean, just, just start the transition even before something happens on the mailing list. Um, Thomas asks, is there a benefit in removing legacy API? Uh, so that's the that's the thing. I mean, like leaving the legacy API and RT flow, um, then it kind of comes as a um, it could be kind of confusing for somebody who's writing the application, um, especially once we say it's legacy, then um, there is always this, um, I, I feel personally, there is a sort of doubt in the mind like, of the developer saying it's legacy and could at some point be um, deprecated. Um, <laughs> so maybe we should, we should, like we should not call it legacy right now, but if we decide to actually um, deprecate, then I think that would be time to, to, to tell which of them are actually legacy and, and uh, do it. Um, I can the chat. No, I don't see anything. Okay, I don't see anything. Is there anything else or are we good? Okay then, so um, okay, I think there's still some activity going on in the QA section. Yeah, so um, so one year, I think it's it's generally a, a good window. So I mean, since like I mean, we are close to twenty one dot eleven, um, and if we um, like make a decision and say in the twenty twenty one dot eleven, um, that would be twenty two dot eleven, where like we may be able to like. Uh, uh, Deprecate the API. So, so, so yeah, I think at that point the customers can actually pick 22.11 and, and modify their applications. So, so. All right, then uh, I take a leave and then let's hop on to the next presentation. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ajay.